This is my demo for Bluetooth. So we have an excellent microcontroller right here. And what we have next is Bluetooth transceiver that I've already wired up. It's uh, two wires right here, power and ground. So I'm going to plug it into the Exxon anywhere I feel like. It's going to go right there. Power and ground is now plugged in for Bluetooth to the Exxon. Now there's also transmit and receive. I've already labeled these wires. So I'm going to plug it into UART0 right here. So now Bluetooth is connected to the Exxon microcontroller and it took me like five seconds. Now I also have a Bluetooth USB key. It's uh, by Asus. So all I do is I just take it and I plug it into my computer like so. Blue light turns on. Now the next thing I want to do is hook up a photoresistor. So I have this photoresistor here. And the photoresistor is going to go into port 0 for the ADC. Alright, so we have photoresi photoresistor now plugged in. And of course for power, I have a, just a nickel metal hydride battery here. And off switch connected as well. So I just plug in power. So battery's plugged in. This is the on off switch right here. So I just flip it on. Power goes on. Now first you want to get connected with Bluetooth. So you see this uh, green light right here? It means you're not connected. And so you want to go over to hyper terminal here and click connect call button and you'll see the green light turn to a red light on Bluetooth that means you're connected right now I've already written a program this is the program here it's like 20 lines of code that's all it is that's running the entire thing now to turn it on I just push the button right there so now my program's running now what it's doing is it's taking data from the Axon, transmitting it Bluetooth wirelessly, going into the USB key, and finally into the hyper terminal there. And the first thing I want to demonstrate is the photoresistor. So you see the number right here? If I push on it, it gets dark, the number goes low. If I don't, it gets light. So dark, light, dark, light. Now this is all, be all being done wirelessly. Now the next thing I want to show you is the servo. So I have a servo hooked up to this wire right here. I'm going to plug it into H3. There it's plugged in. Now what I have set up is if I push a button on the keyboard, gripper does something, push another button, it opens up again. So E R E R R R R R R R. Now using Bluetooth, I have my ERP hooked up and remote controlled by my keyboard. So by pushing buttons on my keyboard, I can get them to do things such as rotate or move forward. Come back. And if I really wanted, I could even program the arms to do things. So I could enter in larger commands to say, reach and grab something, or go to a particular location. This was just a very crude version of remote control by Bluetooth. Oh, one more thing I want to show you. I got the green LED changing color. On, off, on, off, depending on what I push on the keyboard. So if I push Q, it turns on. 
I push W, turns off. That concludes my Bluetooth tutorial for the Exxon microcontroller.